the small U.S. mission compound was packed. There were diplomats and American tourists, businessmen anxious to cash in on the new ties. The first eight American exchange students since normalization were on hand. They'll be enrolling soon in universities in Peking and Shanghai. Inside, the Americans provided Coke to Chinese employees. Coke is now on sale in Peking, but only to foreigners at $1 a can. Did the Chinese like Coke? Well, pretty good, said one, but to another, it tasted like Chinese medicine. <laughs> Presiding over the opening was Treasury Secretary Michael Blumenthal. This is a, an occasion of historic significance. For too long, our people and our governments have been separated. We have taken the first step toward a dynamic and fruitful relationship with the People's Republic of China. With newly confirmed Ambassador Woodcock unable to return till next week, Deputy Chief Stapleton Roy helped the Secretary remove the old and place the new embassy plaque on the gate outside. Here in Washington, the red flag of the People's Republic of China was raised over their new embassy as a rather scratchy and faint recording of their national anthem, which is titled March On, was played. This low-key ceremony was preceded at the White House by another ceremony, the new ambassador, Chai Tsi Min, presented his credentials to President Carter. Mr. Chai, who was served here as chief of the liaison office, today became China's ambassador, and the president had this to say. I consider this to be a momentous day in the historical evolution of our nation. The simultaneous opening of embassies in Peking and Washington.